Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2, stupid character. We're in New Reno and we're going boxing more. Again, more stuff. We just got over here into the basement of this uh, casino to get the uh, plated boxing gloves. So we can dispense a lot more damage. As you can see, these are 2 to 10. These are 1 to 6 only, the boxing gloves. So this is going to be quite a lot more. <clears throat> And over here we have the uh, boxer. Nar, grr, mm, use yum. <laughs> grr, 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 grr. Can I, I think you can knock him out with one punch. Oh, he's very difficult to hit. Oh, maybe not. Huh, interesting. Oh, he's punching me back. Quite a lot. Jeez, how many? I think you got higher sequence. Let's try to punch him in the. Whoa, that's not gonna work. The groin. We're not in the ring. <laughs> Masticator was critically hit in the groin for six points. Without protection, he falls over, groaning in agony. Oh yeah, wait, this is, um, this is the last guy I have to fight, of course. Do I really want to kill this guy here? Actually, no, I want to cripple him. I want to stun him, not kill him. Uh, with no protection... No, I want to stun him. I mean, um, blind him. Extra pain. Well, we're doing a lot of damage here. Ow. Oh, he can still hit me a lot. The groin. Of course I'm gonna miss. No damage. Ow. Uh, he can hit you pretty hard. Come on. Damn it. Can't go for the eyes with 27 to hit. Uh, how much does he have? Well, still quite a bit. Come on, fall over. Damn it. I could just use the hammer, really. Slow. You bastard. You bastard! Alright, let's see if we can use the hammer. Hit him over the head. Oh! Bang! Uh, yeah, I'm not sure that's, uh, you know, regulated for boxing. Roar! Holy crap, man. 23. Well, he he's about to die. Oh! He only hit me for one, but still. Um, well, I can hit him a little more, but not too much. Because he's going to die. I must break you! I just want to knock him unconscious. Bloody hell, come on. <sighs> Shite. No damage, no damage. Come on. Still not unconscious. How much does he have? Well... Not a lot. Because if you if you fight him in the ring, yes, he is, um, you know, he's a bad opponent, but he can chew your um, ear off, and then you get, uh, I think, charisma or something? Although, on the other hand, why am I even doing that? I, it's not like I need charisma, you know? Roar! He's fighting me with boxing gloves, and I'm fighting him with a hammer. It just sort of feels like not entirely um, fair, you know what I mean? Jeez, oh, he's just not falling over. Maybe I should hit his arms or something, you know. Smash his arms. The right arm. Hmm, no damage. Okay, never mind. Let's get out of here. Not interested. Don't want to kill him just yet. I'll fight him in the ring. It's gonna be more XP, probably. <clears throat> right, there we go. Let's uh, also sleep. We need to get our health back up if we want to fight more in the ring. But yeah, I can, I can see actually what uh, you can do here. Um, you just dispense of your opposition if you don't have a very strong character. You just go over there, shoot him. And I don't know what happens then. I think you just finish with the um, 
with the guy that's before him. And that's it. And you're the champion. Right, let's go to him. <clears throat> Ready to get back in the ring? We want to fight more. All right, then. Let's get the circus on the road. All right, now we're gonna wait for this again. Round one. <laughs> There's still blood from the guy I killed before. Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen. Round one. Round one. Boys and girls. Round one. <laughs> Tonight's match is brought to you by, and I talk really slow, the cat's paw. <clears throat> when you got that itch that you need to scratch, ugh, head to the cat's paw. That's not really good advertisement. In this corner, fresh from the wasteland. We're not fresh from the wasteland. We're quite, um, you know, we've won two matches now already. And in this corner, weighing in at 189 pounds, you know him, you love him, Evan Holyfeld something so without further ado yes please without further ado let's get ready to beat some ass come on we've got plated gloves hello ugh. he's got a lot more time units as you can see or action points ugh. That's an, ugh. yeah that's that's not gonna work i think i'll just have to do the old-fashioned uh ow he's hitting me for a lot how many hit points does he have? Oof, bloody hell. His ears look like they have been horribly savaged. Ugh. 67. That's not much. No damage? Seriously? Okay, I remember this being much easier with a strong character. And I'm using bloody plated gloves. Oh, come on. Yeah, I remember knocking them down like crazy. Oh, and of course I didn't get up right away, so I'm wasting time units. Or action points. No damage. What the... What the hell is going on? Look at this. Alright. Screw this. I'm never gonna hit the eyes. If you go through the groin, they, um... Uh, they, um, of course, disqualify you. Rawr. I'm gonna hit one of these days. Oh, blinding him. There we go. <laughs> That's all I needed. That is all I needed. And I'll just punch away. Of course, I think he can still try to hit me. But they should have huge penalties for trying to hit me when blind. It really shows that I, you know, don't have the perk, which gives me more attacks, though. I really need that. Why am I doing so little damage to this guy with plated gloves? I should be doing loads. I don't know if the restoration pad changed something here, or if it's a bug or something. I don't quite get it. And he's still so difficult to hit, despite the fact that he's bloody blinded. <laughs> I just want to go for the eyes, because that make, does so many crits. And in fact, I think it might be more worth it doing this. And hitting once in a while for lots of crits. Oh. Great. Round two. Well. We're in the same... We've got the same amount of damage, don't we? No, he's got 74. Never mind that. Well, that was good, but only nine hit points. I don't really understand that. <sighs> and the fact that he's blind, as I said, it should give him enormous penalties for uh, anything, really. Especially trying to hit people in melee. Look at this! I don't get it. <sighs> oh, come on. I should have saved for... Oh, great. I also critically wounded. Um, critically... What? What the hell? It's over. Oh, great. It's bugged now, isn't it? Oh, no. And the winner is... Well, this is the first time I sort of lost. I was knocked out. Damn it. I think I can fight him again, but what the hell is this? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, looks disgusted with you as you're hauled out of the ring. Get out of my sight, Ashhead! No hope for you in this town! Beat it! Me Uga, not Ashhead! 
What about ice cream? Run off crying, one off in search of it. Smile calmly, nod, then attack him. What about ice cream? Turns red. What? The masticator bite your ears off, boy? I said, beat it! Get out of here! Kick the loud red little man. Trump out angrily. Wait, if I talk him again? Well, if it ain't Miami, what brings you back around? We won't fight more. Oh, so we can't even fight again. What? I, I don't get it. I mean, I have the best possible character for this. 10 strength, 10 endurance, loads and melee weapons, and, well, it's unarmed here, really. Um, I've got plated gloves, and I lost not even to the last guy. It was just some random opponent on the way to the Masticator. I really don't get it. Either I was extremely unlucky, or this was just, I don't know, bizarre. It was a huge loss of XP, though. I don't know, this sucks. Uh, probably should just reload. I uh, don't know if I can. Well, I could actually, but it doesn't seem like it would get any better. I don't know. It's bloody bizarre. Um, right. I want to get rid of these things. I can't really sell them for that much, I believe. Is there anything else here I can really do? Shark Club. Don't think I can do anything except go up there. And talk to the people. And maybe do some damage. <laughs> Piss off, tribal. Uh, Mrs. Bishop, there she is. Is she an attractive middle-aged woman? She looks bored. Well, this can end badly, so I'm going to save here as well. Yeah, that boxing ring pisses me off, though. The woman turns to face you. She is quite attractive with a low-cut dress made of gold gecko skin. She studies you for a moment, then frowns. Yes, what is it? Knock, knock. Stare at her breasts and drool. <laughs> she follows your eyes down her breasts. She flushes angrily, opens her mouth and pauses. You're not terribly bright. Studies your frame. However, you are quite strong. Come with me for a moment. We go a good place? She smiles faintly. Yes, very good place. Now come along. Is she, oh, is she going to... Get me to the stables? Oh, no. She takes you upstairs to a strange, nice-smelling room. Once there, she starts giving you strange directions that make you feel both happy and uncomfortable. Don't you want to touch me? Oh. I thought she was... Oh, okay. She wants... Ugo as well. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. And now... Oh. We know the biggest little cesspool in the wall. Hmm. Oh, so that was it. Oh, Ugo. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait, I think she gives you the combination, right? For the safe. Five, six, eight, five, eight, eight. It is locked. Well, uh, I kind of have the combination. Huh? Oh, do I just use lockpick on it? Oh, click clang, there we go. Well, apparently Hugo is uh, smart enough about that. I'm just going to take everything, actually. Well, that was okay. Nice. More stuff over here. I think, actually, if you say you don't want to touch her, she just calls the guards and has you shot or something. Right. And now we have a problem, because as soon as you step over here, they start shooting you, I believe. Which is kind of odd. Unless, of course, that was... Uh, figured out in the restoration patch. Also, if you check this out, this is her room and this is her daughter's room. And as you can see, it's very lovely. There's rope here, booze, just a, you know, crappy place. Man, there's so much leather armor everywhere. Taking this though, I don't think I can open the, uh, this, no, it's locked. There's another safe here. This is Mr. Bishop's broom, I believe. Nothing there. I wish I could open these. But I can't. Oh, a door open somewhere. Right, now let's see if we can get out of here and, um, without getting killed. Or maybe they will just... Well, I'm actually too low on health to do anything, so and I can't sleep here, so that's it. <laughs> Come on, open the damn doors. They're all metal doors. What the? Who are you and what the hell do you want? 
Me Uga. You got some balls. Why didn't you just take a sign on your chest that says dumb motherfucker? Eat lead, you stupid son of a bitch. Me not like lead. Taste gross. <laughs> oh, can I shamble off? That's the fight, last fight? Oh. Are they going to attack me? Apparently not. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Alright, where is the... Where's the guy? Who are these guys? A prostitute... Bishop's man... Bishop's man... I don't know. I thought he was here. Yum. Oh yeah, I think you can sleep with her as well. <laughs> haven't you se I haven't seen you around here before. What's your name, stranger? Actually, never mind, I don't want to know. You as bored as I am? Dum dum, be like yams. <laughs> Used to travel with someone named Ian. Kept shooting at me back with burst fire. What? This doesn't belong here. Me bored too. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Come with me. I want to show you my room. Okay, pretty girl. <laughs> Angela leads you up to her room on the third floor. There she opens a little door on the wall. In the wall. Takes out a strange plastic bottle and offers it to you. Want some, baby? There's uh, more than enough for both of us to fly. Oh, that's Jed. Uh-uh. Mmm, Angela takes a deep hit from the bottle. Why don't you come over here? She lies down on the bed, takes another hit. If you hurry, you can still suck some of this Jed out of my mouth. Ugh. Uh. Angela's eyes blaze with rage. She jumps up from the bed and starts screaming her head off. Rape, help, rape. What? Huh? Shh. If you don't be quiet, George won't let me play with the rabbits. No scream, no scream! Oh, great. Um... Uh-oh. This guy's here. <clears throat> I'm just going to take some of this stuff and then go... Bye-bye. Let's talk to her again. You got some balls! Me not like land! Oh, she's running still. Stay away from me, I haven't got anything to say to you. Oh well. Let's go then. Staircase. Yeah, what a crappy family they have here. Ugh. Let's get out of the shark club. And let's go to Salvatoris next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next part.